We're now going to position for an MRI of the shoulder. There are two ways to position for a shoulder. You could use a dedicated shoulder coil, which is the more common approach. But for a patient with a larger body habitus, you can use the flex coil, like how we did with the MRI of the elbow. You want to have the patient off center to the opposite side. So for example, if you're scanning the right shoulder, you want them offset to the left. Patient's gonna put earplugs in. Table's gonna raise. You wanna ensure that the shoulder is on plane. That way, it, on the axial images, it cuts right through the humerus in profile. You want to ensure that you're covering the, you want to wrap the coil from the top of the shoulder down and you want to have the arm crossing out, okay, with the palmar side up to open up the shoulder joint. Okay, if the, this, this position of the hand is called external rotation, internal would be halfway through uh, neutral position would be halfway through. Internal is all the way uh, with the top side of the hand touching the hip. For this exam, you want external rotation. You want to provide the patient with the emergency ball in the opposite hand. You want to provide headphones for communication or music. And you're going to landmark at the coracoid process of the shoulder. You're going to advance the patient in. Ensure that they're not touching the side of the unit. Landmark. And advance the scan.